I'm using Smithfield bacon today because I'm obsessed with that bacon. It's the best bacon. If you haven't tried it, you have to. So the first thing that I did was cut the bacon in half. Super easy, right? And then you take three strips and you put them down like this. If you want to make a bigger bacon weave for whatever you want to eat it with, you could do that. But this is the perfect size for just one plain slice of bread. So I'm going to take this. Fold the one in the middle up, place the bacon down, and fold it down. Then you lift these sides, lift the opposite side, put the piece of bacon down, and then lay it on top. And the third and final piece, lift up this little one, put that down, and then close it just like that. Now I'm going to transfer this to a parchment paper lined baking sheet. If you want to save a step, you can just do it on the cookie sheet, which is probably what I should have done. If you guys want to do this right on the parchment paper line baking sheet and save yourself the transfer process, that's probably a smart idea. Now I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper on top of this. And I'm going to put a cookie sheet on top just to make sure that the bacon doesn't curl. I know some people that do it without putting the cookie sheet and they say it never curls but I just want to be 100% sure. Please don't judge me for the state of my cookie sheet. I know I need new ones. I just cannot keep these things clean. Now I want to bake it at a 400 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes. The time is up. Let's check out to see how we did. Sorry for my ugly cookie sheet, forgive me. Okay, let's check it out. Oh my God, look at that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now I'm gonna take this off and just drain it on some paper towels. Isn't it cute though? It's like the perfect size for a slice of bread. So you could put on any kind of sandwich. You could do a turkey club with this. You could do a bacon, egg and cheese with this. You could do a plain BLT or just add it to a burger, anything. So cute. Or if you're doing keto, you could just use this as like a base to whatever you wanna put on top of it. But I just think it's such a cool thing. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on a bacon, egg and cheese. All right, so you guys have seen me make eggs a million times before. Just gonna put this right on top. Smithfield bacon weave. It just looks like a little bit more exciting to serve it like this, doesn't it? It also fits on the bread perfectly. If you cut the three strips of bacon in half, it's the perfect size. I love it, it looks so good. So I hope you guys like this one. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you give it a try, because this is a super easy way to just make a sandwich look a little bit better. And thanks for watching.